let us uh, discuss uh, OS tempering, which is one of the heat treatments which we listed in our original list of heat treatments. Uh, OS tempering produces bainite and this is what we will discuss now. So, we are familiar with the TTT diagram now, this is the TTT diagram of eutectoid steel. The diagram of eutectoid steel and we have seen how slower coolings will lead to formation of pearlite either through annealing or normalizing coarse pearlite fine pearlite and a very fast quench or a fast cool will lead us to martensite. This whole uh, business of uh, TTT diagram this whole discovery or development of TTT diagram was done by an American metallurgist named Edgar C. Bain. And when he was forming uh, or developing these uh, diagram, he decided to isothermally cool austenite quenched from very high temperature. So, in fact, he was not continuously cooling as shown in these lines, but he was initially quenching, quenching fast and then holding for transformation and we saw that it is transforming to pearlite. But when he carried this experiment to much lower temperature. So, if you cool to a low temperature and then hold it at that temperature for transformation to happen, then he found that the transformed product did not resemble pearlite, this was not pearlite. So, this he, he was surprised with this because nobody had done this uh, norm, annealing, normalizing and quenching were all historical processes before uh, Bain and people have tried this. So, Bain only gave a better explanation through his TTT diagram of these well known heat treatment like annealing, normalizing and quenching. But nobody had tried quenching to a temperature below the nose of the C curve and keeping it above the martensite start temperature. So, at such an intermediate temperature below the nose and above MS, austenite transforms and it transforms to a structure which does not resemble pearlite. This new structure later on in honor of Bain was named Bainite. So, really the start curve and finish curve below the nose are bainite start and bainite finish instead of pearlite start and pearlite finish. So, we can now label these start curves as pearlite start and pearlite finish whereas, these are bainite start. and bainite finish. And why it was not resembling pearlite? Because bainite was not having, so it was also consisting, bainite is also alpha plus Fe 3 C. So, in terms of the phages both pearlite and bainite are mixture of same two phages, but in terms of appearance under the micros microscope or in terms of the shape of the phages, they are very very different. We saw in pearlite alpha and Fe 3 C formed like alternating plates, whereas in bainite that is not the case. In bainite we have very fine needles, so fine needles. 
needles of Fe3C in alpha matrix. This is a simple description. Of course, there are different forms of bainite also depending upon the temperature. Close to the nose, we have upper bainite and lower down above MS, we have lower bainite and so on. We will not go into those distinctions and there are differences in their microstructure. But one form of bainite, which we will accept for our purpose is fine needles of Fe3C in the alpha matrix. So, this is how bainite differs from perlite, which was alternating plates of um, alpha and Fe3C. This heat treatment as we have seen is named as OS tempering. So, it is used for some steel and we will call this OS tempering. So, OS tempering happens when an austenite is quenched below the nose of the C curve, but above MS and then that austenite is allowed to transform. The transformed product is alpha plus Fe3C, but it is not perlite, but it is bainite because of the different distribution of Fe3C and alpha. So, one important point here we should note is a distinction between phages and micro constituents. So, perlite and bainite are mixtures of the same two phages but are different micro constituents. due to different shapes and distribution of these phages. So, their appearance in the microscope is different. So, based on the difference in the appearance in microscope, they are different micro constituents and that is why they have different name perlite and bainite, but in terms of phages both of them are alpha plus Fe3C. Okay.